the normal educators, my beloved teachers and friends, and so on, the amazing principals and audiences. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this world will never exist without his commandments. The God of the freckles of dust to the vastness of the universe. Praises to him and thanks to him for all the things he has granted us. And may you not forget our salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his families and his fellow followers until the end of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, what comes to your mind when you hear the word language? Is it speech? Instruction small humans? Or maybe broken heart because we're gonna say I love you to your admired ones. Well, whatever language means you, it is undeniable that language is inseparable from humans. Language can also be used to determine a person's nationality or tribe. That is why language can be considered as culture. In Indonesia, there are about 740 different cultural languages that are being used all over the archipelago. We can find Java language in Kilo Java and East Java, Sunda in East Java, Minang in West Sumatra, and many more. It becomes our pride to own these many languages. Many tourists from all over the world come to Indonesia to find out more about our various languages and how much of each other. However, it becomes our concern when a research proves that 14 local languages have been already extinct. Those are Hopi, Hukumina, Hulu, and seven more languages from Middle Maluku, Ternatenu and Iku from North Maluku, Saponi and Mapia from Papua. Regarding this issue, there are at least three reasons that lead to the extinction of the languages. Those are, first, the language users feel inferior to the user language because they feel less populated, so it doesn't matter anymore. Second, Globalization makes those languages infamous because it has a traditional impression, so they feel old fashioned they use it. And the last reason is that the economic activities are the crossings of the region. While well, we know that the economy opens the borders of their region, which means more sellers will use other language names for the buyers. The sellers generally adjust their language to the buyers who frequently are from outside the region because they say it is easier that we need to offer things to the buyers. Brothers and sisters, one of the effects of the language extinction is the disappearance of manners which was strongly related to this language. The example is general language. The Japanese has their own social, has their own language which uh, that is divided based on social structure, to whom you are talking to, and in which you are not to interact with. Nowadays, there are some trends of not using general language for our people. Besides, in general language, the youngsters are obliged to speak primarily to the elders. What I have mentioned just now shows one of the signs of the degradation of a nation. Eddie Bruno, a practitioner of multiple intelligence and policy glory, said there are ten signs of a nation of degradation. One of them use of slangers and swearing, which means no language. It has already happened in Indonesia, ladies and gentlemen. The youngsters prefer to use bad languages instead of their own language. This is a problem. As Indonesians, we should know how to conserve our country's riches because it has been only our obligation since we were born in this world as Indonesians. One of many forces that we citizens can do for our country in conserving our languages is right, some from the parents at home. They have to instill a big intention to learn of the languages in their children's hearts. The example is my mother. She always tells me to, I want you have to learn Sunda because you are Sunda. Although I don't live in West Java, I can't speak Sunda fully, but at least I understand how people talk Sunda. Okay. And of so many work that a woman can do, there is at least one beautiful award. Holding a local language and local culture festival by showing some performances using local languages. It will help so many people to realize how rich our country is and to love and conserve them as best as we can. 
So, brothers and sisters, concerning and learning about our languages doesn't mean that we do not learn Indonesian language. We learn Indonesian language as a bridge of communication with others. When we learn about the languages, to keep them alive, and something to grow up. Our goal here is conserve our languages to conserve our cultures. Let's recall. This problem works from Nelson Mandela. If you talk to men in a language she understands, then the only goal is how. But if you talk to him in his own language, that will surely go to his heart. Just remember, a language is a culture which businesses cannot incorporate it. Developers cannot do it. Engineers cannot populate it. Manufacturers cannot fabricate it. Even scientists cannot formulate it. And technicians cannot regenerate it. Because why? Only you can conserve it. That's all for me. And next to our ordinary girl, we must really be great for Indonesians. Thank you. Wassalam.